The Hologic DEXA permits benchmarks to be created across multiple levels and positions in baseball. Absolutely, research has shown that the better composition, the higher your level of play. Uh, you can see how players from uh, minor league all the way to pro ball uh, improve their body composition and, and it's definitely related to performance. Body composition varies from youth to pros. Within the professional level, body composition also varies between rookies to veterans. Moreover, body composition varies across positions. For me, I def I've definitely put on a lot of muscle mass. Uh, I think I got drafted, I was like 180 pounds or something like that. I mean, I was still a kid and then it was funny because going into my senior year, I had put on another 10 or 15. I was going into my senior year about 165, 170. So I had put on about 20 pounds going into my senior season. I think I ended the year around 190-ish. Um, and then I went into the draft, I was around 180, 1, 185, 190. Lost that weight when I first got there. And then really after that, I just try to keep putting weight on and keeping good fundamental weight. So uh, for me, it's been more just putting weight on and keeping it on in, in, the, in the right ways, I guess. Regardless of your position in baseball, rotational power is going to be paramount for on-field performance. In 2010, Dr. Szymanski did a study um, for 12 weeks looking at rotational exercises with a medicine ball and from pre to post measures shows that lean body mass did increase and body fat percentage decreased, which led to on-field performance of increases in bat velocity and rotational strength. If we're talking about rotational power, um, I would say a red flag could be a little bit more lean muscle up top, um, can sometimes uh, lessen flexibility, um, thoracic rotation, um, lower body, you know, we want to make sure that we have more lean mass, uh, muscle mass, lower body than upper body. So those would be red flags if I saw that there's a ton of lean mass, upper body. Um, now I won't say a ton, but there's more lean mass, upper body than lower body. Um, that would be a red flag for me. That would be something that I'd really want to focus on, finding out why and seeing if that's causing any um, uh, lack of rotation, um, a lack of T-spine rotation, you know, a lack of flexibility or whatever it is. Um, the dis disassociation between upper and lower is key, and so that's something I really look for. When considering body composition in baseball, it's important to recognize that it varies across position. In fact, a recent study so sought out to evaluate the difference in body composition between outfielders, middle infielders, and corner infielders, and how that body composition affected their ability to record outs defensively or to successfully play defense. What they found was there were in fact differences in body composition between, between those positions and body composition had a large influence on their mean power output, which ultimately affected their ability to successfully play defense. Now, what does this mean? This means that as we develop our athletes for certain positions, we can now establish benchmarks in order to assure that they are progressing not only in body composition, but they're progressing towards their specific position to get them to the next level. Uh, uh, learning that and, uh, and about some of the uni unilateral things I needed to do, um, I was able to um, focus on doing maybe a lot of more single leg work um, which was able to get this right side, being able to load better, being able to be more uh, flexible, uh, more mo mobile, um, and, and just stronger in general. Um, I felt going into the offseason, it was a little weaker than the left, and, um, and, and in terms of balance too, um, because that was, that was huge as well. I found out my balance on, one, on the left side was better than the right side. So um, I was able to work on those things, and and specifically um, in the weight room, in the, in the uh, physical therapy area, um, and massage to get those things squared away. Literature has also demonstrated the impact of body composition on pitchers and their throwing velocity. In fact, recent literature has found that whole body muscle volume greatly impacted a pitcher's throwing velocity. In conjunction with this finding, they also found that lower body muscle volume and dominant arm muscle volume had just 
as big of an impact on this pitcher's throwing velocity. All right, let's talk about practical applications. When you actually look at positions, what you're gonna find is that there's a range of body composition. For example, your infielders are gonna be the leanest. They need the greatest agility, the most linear speed. So you're gonna see a range anywhere from 10 to 13, 10 to 14% body fat. If you look at outfielders, they're gonna be carrying a little bit more mass. They may be more power hitters in general. And so their body fatness might be anywhere from 12 to 16%. Pitchers, there's an even wider range. They can carry more body fat, but they have a lot of lean mass and, and they can range anywhere from 15 to 20% body fat. So it's important to understand this when you're profiling your athletes. Bottom line is this. The Hologic DEXA has opened up an entire new era in sports science that can be utilized for the practitioner, the dietitian, and the coach alike. As discussed, baseball requires speed, power, and efficiency of force transfer. What you can do with the Hologic DEXA is create the ideal profile to underlie each of these attributes. And every year, improve that profile so you can scout and optimize your roster year in and year out.